So as an author, you might have come across that one question that does tend to linger in the backs of our minds often as writers, and that is, what is my story's core message? When delving in the world of fiction, it's essential to recognize that theme can play a substantial role in shaping the very heart of your narrative. And while it may appear elusive, a well-crafted theme serves as the guiding force for your characters, plot, and the world that you build. But not to worry about. Let's talk about that. Keep in mind it's not about fitting your tale into a predefined mold, but rather letting it reveal its unique truths. So to start with, let's consider why theme is a big deal at all. Yeah, we've got a riveting plot and characters that our readers can't get enough of, but without that message, the story may lack depth and resonance. So a theme can act as the glue that binds those elements together, making the narrative feel whole and satisfying. So how do we find that something special that will transform your story from a string of events to a cohesive masterpiece? Well, first, let's take a step back and examine that narrative from a bird's eye view. What emotions, ideas, or issues tend to recur throughout that story? Are your characters grappling with love, loss, redemption, Maybe your plot revolves around justice, freedom, or the power of friendship. Identifying those core elements can provide a glimpse into the heart of the story, also known as theme, right? So don't be afraid to let your character's arcs inform that theme. Their growth, transformations, and setbacks can offer valuable insight into the story's message. Pay attention to their choices and the consequences that follow those choices. What lessons do they learn, and how do those experiences shape the overall narrative? Another handy tip is to look for symbols and motifs, those recurring elements that can point you in the direction of your story's core message. Uh, For instance, the presence of birds might symbolize freedom. Um, A recurring storm could represent internal conflict. Remember the symbols you choose don't have to be universally recognized, They should just be meaningful within the context of your story. Once you've discovered that theme, it's time to weave it into your narrative. And subtlety is key here. We don't want to hammer the readers over the head with the message because that gets annoying real fast. Instead, just let it emerge organically through the interactions with your characters, the unfolding of events, and the consequences that stem from those choices, as we mentioned earlier. I think the best themes are those that invite readers to reflect and explore the story's depths rather than dictate, like, this is what you should be thinking. A theme can, should give readers the material to ponder for themselves. It's not about giving them answers. It's about giving them the question and they find the answers for themselves. So in conclusion, find your story's core message. Uh, doing that may feel like unraveling a mystery, but With patience and curiosity, we can uncover the theme that unites the narrative. And I should say here, too, that sometimes we don't, I think maybe actually is better if we don't start off writing with the theme, but we allow the theme to reveal itself, and uh, then we can shore that up and rewriting. So, and talking about rewriting, the magic of fiction really does lie in the journey of discovery, and a lot of that happens in the rewriting process. So embrace that process and let your story reveal its hidden truths.